hello everyone before we start with the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download the Revit families and blocks and use them in your architectural and interior design projects all of these uh, family files which you are seeing here are fully parametric and as I have mentioned here there are these windows center tables doors and also these folding doors which you can rotate at any given angle now a new addition are these sofas these are not parametric uh, these are non parametric families but uh, each set contains a three seater sofa a two seater sofa and a single seater so that uh, you can use them in your you, uh, in, in you can use them in your interior design projects and also if you want to look at the detailed design of these families and also you want to see how the what are their dimensions and how the parameters work then you can go to this tutorials tab and then watch these videos to have a better understanding of the families and from this shop tab you can buy these products now let's move towards our tutorial for today in this video i am going to create the ceiling design of triso bar as you can see here but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start the tutorial open a new architectural template file in revit go to the massing and side tab and in here click on in place mass click ok then go to the level 2 floor plan and in here select this reference and rectangle basically these reference lines and make sure drawn work plane is selected as we need to draw on the level 2 floor plan reference plane and here i am going to draw a rectangle of 6 inches by 6 inches go to 3d and select this rectangle then click on create form then draw this select click on this box and from here as i need to move it downwards so i am going to i have added the positive offset as 0 inches and negative offset as 8 feet and then i have assigned the material parameter to this mass and let's assign it the material of wood okay so this is how it is going to look like now go to the select it and go to level 2 floor plan and copy it let's say at a distance of one feet from the starting point let's add the even distance one feet and i'm going to keep on adding these multiple as you can see here uh, in this messing mode the array command is not available so i have i'm going to make use of this copy command now select all of them and let's copy it towards this other side as well So here we have added as many of them as we wanted. So after that go to the level 2 floor plan and here I am going to add 
थ्री रेफरेंस प्लेन्स द शॉर्टकट की फॉर द रेफरेंस प्लेन कमांड इज आर पी एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू असाइन नेम टू दीज थ्री रेफरेंस प्लेन्स एज वन टू एंड थ्री रिस्पेक्टिवली then go to the south elevation and in here set the reference plane to one click okay then select this reference sublime through points make sure drawn work plane is selected and remember that when you draw this sublime none of the points should should be on these wooden elements because we need to draw them on the reference planes and if you click on the wood that point will be placed on that wood instead of the reference plane so make sure that when you place the points those points are not placed on the wood and here you can see these points are placed within the distance added uh, the, the distance between the wooden parts now select the reference line make sure 3d snapping is checked drawn work plane is selected ignore this error and connect these points to make a loop so that if you select that it should be one closed loop now select the reference plane set the reference plane to two and repeat this exact same step select this reference supply through points make sure draw on work plane is selected and draw an other curve and again the points should not touch the wood it should be that space between the wooden parts so that the points lie on the reference plane instead of the meshing again select the reference lines and make sure 3d snapping is checked drawn work plane is selected and close these points join these points to make them one closed loop now set the reference plane to 3 and repeat this exact same same process for that third reference plane so here we have our three enclosed loops then go to the 3d and select these three uh, use control button for multiple selection and then click on void form and now you can see this uh, cut has been created within our within this meshing and we have our ceiling design with the straight flat top but irregular curves at the bottom and you can use this technique to create uh, these type of ceilings for the your interior design projects so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial do watch the other tutorials available on the massing and i have also one other tutorial in which i have used this technique of void mass to create irregular openings within a structure do visit that as well the link is given below in the description box and make sure to like share and subscribe my videos and leave a comment below i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care